Hi, today we're going to be going over the Java solution for lead code 28. Find the index of the first occurrence in a string. Given two strings, needle and haystack, return the index of the first occurrence of needle in haystack, or negative one if needle is not part of haystack. Um, so going through the examples right here, we're going to be given two strings, a needle and a haystack. And we're trying to see, does needle appear in haystack? If it does, and we just return the first index on where it starts. Or if there are multiple cases, like in this one right here, you can see sad and sad, just like with the needle, we'll just return the index of the first occurrence of it, which is right here. And it starts at index zero, so we'll just return zero. For this case right here, we have haystack of leet code and the needle of leet o. Leet o doesn't appear, there's a c in the way. So it doesn't appear in the haystack at all, which means we could just return negative one since it does not appear. And so the logic of this question and how we're gonna approach it is that we're gonna keep um, two pointers basically, a pointer for haystack and a pointer for needle. So um, if we're going through haystack and we see that, okay, um, the first character of needle appears right here, it's like, okay, great. We can increase the um, to the second index of needle and then um, increase haystack as well and then compare. Do they appear? Yes, they do. We increase it again. Um, does D appear with the third index? Yes, it does. And then we can say, since the, um, we went through the entirety of the needle, then that means haystack does appear and we could just return basically the index of haystack minus the length of the needle. Um, in this case right here, if we're going through the same example, we'll look at L. We see that L appears in needle as the first character. We'll increase to look at the second character of needle and then increase haystack. We see L, uh, I mean, we see E. And then we see, we increase it again, we see E's again, we increase it again, we see both T's, we increase it again, we see an O, and then we see a C in haystack. So now it does not appear, which means what we can do is that we can reset this back to the first index, and we can reset this back to the second character, since we already checked the first character and it does not appear. Um, that's basically the logic behind it. So let's code it up. First, the edge case is that if needle.length is equal to zero, then we could just return zero. It can appear in the, technically it appears in the first index, I guess. Um, next, let's code it up. So for our two pointers, I'm gonna keep um, an int count for the needle. Oh, that is called zero, sorry. Um, that's gonna be the index for the needle. And then for the haystack, it's just gonna be a for loop, just going through the haystack. So now, if haystack.char at i is equal to needle.char at count, then we know we found it, which means we can increment our count. So now we look at the second character of our needle, and for the haystack, it's going to increase anyway because of the for loop. Else, if haystack.char at i is not equal to needle.char at count. In this case, what happens is that, okay, it did not appear. So if we're midway through um, the needle, so for example, in this case, we are on the last element and we compare it and see that it does not um, equate to one another, we're gonna reset um, our count to be the first index and also we're gonna reset this to be the second character. So we can subtract i by count and we can set count equal to zero. And then finally, we have our last case where it's like we have basically gone through the whole needle and we found it in the haystack, in which case, if count is equal to needle.length, then we found it, which means we can return i minus count minus one, since this is zero index based, so we have to have that minus one at the end. And if we go through this whole for loop and we don't find it, then we could just return negative one since it does not exist. Let's see if it works. Okay, great. Now let's submit it. Okay, great. So that was one approach of handling this problem. However, another way we can do it is we're just going to use some of the methods of Java. So first we're going to see if haystack if haystack dot contains needle so this method in java basically checks 
and see does needle appear in haystack if that's the case then we can return haystack dot index of needle so we could just return that index um, if this if statement does not apply then we can just return negative one since it does not exist let's see if it works let's see if i made any sort of syntax error no i didn't so now we can submit that and there we go